This is Don Brill again with the uh, rice haulers. This is our uh, rice hauler that has the chain and the sprockets. I uh, added a electric drill with a half inch chuck. It's not doesn't have a lot of horsepower. You can run a pound of rice in about a minute or less. I'm going to run this through. Uh, this will be running at about 600 RPM, maybe 800. Open this up. We'll get it started. Right there. It's that easy. Um, good order. You could add uh, other uh, motors to it. Just want to get the uh, RPM here probably down to under a thousand. So the rest of this video is going to show a, uh, the results after running a half pound through here twice. We've just hauled this twice using the uh, rollers here but we've attached this uh, power drill we ran it at about 600 rpm the screen here is our uh, separator so there's the rice this was the hauled rice is on the left the unhauled on the right we did uh, a half a pound, 20 seconds for the first pass without separating, 15 seconds for the uh, second pass. So if you have a separator, that's the first thing you're going to do. If you're going to do small grain rice, get a uh, piece of plastic, metal, drill some holes in it so you can separate it out. It'll save you a lot of time. So it was successful. We ran it at uh, 600 RPM wanted to prove that it would work. It does work using a small motor. We're now going to uh, try and attach it to a bike. Good luck on your project. So, I'm on the bike, no load in there. I can do this. I'm sure I can do this for hours. I'm sure that, that was a uh, half cup of ice. chain starts coming off, well, you can put an idler down here, but you're on a very little load as it's going through. If you have these adjusted, this gap, and the springs adjusted right, you'll still get your 70% without uh, doing a lot of work. So uh, now the video will go in and show a close-up of these. This is our hauler. We've uh, now attach it to a bicycle. So what we have is a coupler right there. It goes from half inch to half inch. We're using our same bearings. Let me get over here to the other side. The chain on here is a number 40 and the reason you have to use 40 is that bicycles use number 40 chain but it's a light weight chain but 40 means they're half inch on centers so we had to get an industrial chain because our sprockets are much bigger so this is a uh, about a two to two and a half inch uh, sprocket with a half inch ID we have the bearing we've attached our bicycle with one of these travel clamps and then we've bolted it to a piece of wood and just used a C-clamp to attach it. So it's all pretty straightforward. Our uh, chain here is 52 inches. You obviously could run the um, drive system here higher 
or lower. You could have it up, down, move it out. Um, our hauler is not attached, it's just floating there. Alright, we're going to just haul some rice.